Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the song tempo in Reaper. Now, if I go to my hard drive, I have a few music audio files that I want to figure out their tempo, which makes it easier for our bars and beat lines to line up and also for using time-based effects that are based on tempo or quarter notes or eighth notes makes it a lot easier when the tempos match our music. So before we drag these files into Reaper, we want to first change a setting. We'll go to the project settings over here and change this setting time base for items. By default, it's set to beats, position, length, and rate, which is very helpful if we change the tempo in our project as it'll time stretch the audio to match. But for the purpose of finding a song tempo, we don't want that behavior. So we'll change this to time. So now we can adjust our tempo without it changing our items. Although we could also change it on a track by track basis by right clicking and going down here to track time base and change it to time. So now we could bring in our first audio file. Let's bring in this one, drag and drop it on this track. And now we could hear it from this track. If we look right here at our tempo, it's set to 120 beats per minute. And we can tell it's off if we turn on a metronome right here. It doesn't match the song tempo. So let's turn this off. Now, if you notice on this file, it starts in tempo from the top of the song. which makes this process a bit easier. So the first thing we could do is drag the file to the beginning of our project, right to bar one. And now we need to find a point based on full bars that's a bit later in the song. It could be bar two, bar three, four, or five. It doesn't really matter as long as we analyze that very certain point at the top of a bar. So let's play it from the top and let's count the bars. So I'm gonna put a counter right here, which is not based on Reaper. It's just based on what we're mentally counting. So let's count it beat by beat and bar by bar and find bar three in the song. So right over here is bar three, beat one. Let's count it again. So let's zoom in and find that point. Right about right here is the beginning of bar three. We'll put our cursor right there, and then we'll zoom back out and we'll hold down the shift key and create a time selection from this point to the beginning of the project. Hold down shift and drag it over, and that creates a time selection from bar one to bar three, at least based on the music, not by the ruler up here. So to check it, make sure we turn on looping over here in the transport. Let's make sure this section loops. And it does. So now we can just right click up in the ruler and choose set project tempo from time selection, which is going to detect our tempo and change the project tempo to that. Right now it's 120. Let's hit this and it changes the tempo 
to 64.931. So now we can clear the time selection. And let's hear it back with the metronome turned on. Sounds a lot better. But because this song was programmed, the tempo is most likely exactly a whole number. So we probably selected it a bit off, and really, it's probably 65. So let's hear that. Sounds perfect. So now we know the tempo of this song, and we could work with it in Reaper in this project. But this file was a bit easier because we could hear the tempo right from the top of the song. Let's try a file that's a bit harder. Let's bring in this music file. Once again, we'll drag it in to this track and drop it. And let's hear this one. Notice the tempo doesn't start at the top of the song. It's a lot clearer and more noticeable over here. So for this file, we're going to start in the middle. Once again, we'll zoom in to the downbeat right here. Let's mark off this point. Let's put a marker just in case we lose it. Type M. Then we can zoom out and find another point a bit later in the song. Again, it could be two bars, three bars. Let's do four bars for this. So once again, we'll mentally count it. And right here is gonna be the top of the fifth bar. Let's count it again. So we'll zoom in right here, and we'll put a marker right here. Type M, and now we can zoom out and create a time selection from this marker to this marker by double clicking in between. And once again, we have four bars selected, and we can play it back and make sure it loops perfectly. And it does. So once again, we can just right click up here and choose set project tempo from time selection and detect the tempo. And if we choose this, it changes the tempo to 62.5. And most likely, it based this on two bars instead of four. So the real tempo is probably double 125 beats per minute. So we can change this manually or undo it and choose this option instead. Set project tempo from time selection. We could type in a new time signature right over here. We can keep it at 4 4. We'll change the bars to be four bars. And we'll see the tempo is going to change to 125 beats per minute, which makes a lot more sense for this song. Hit OK, and our tempo changed right down here to 125 beats per minute. So now we can clear the time selection and our markers. 
we should move this first section to be right on a bar. Let's put it a bit later and zoom in. Make sure it starts right on bar 19 or any bar you choose. So now if we zoom out, we can go to the beginning of our song and it should be in time and tempo with the metronome. And it is. So the tempo of this music is 125 beats per minute. So we can set this up if our song starts on the downbeat of a bar, or even in situations where the tempo isn't clear until later in the song, like this. So that's pretty much it. That's how to find the song tempo in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.